Well, firstly, I just wanted to, to address the fans and, and the parents and that and, and thank them very much for, for their support during a great season. There's no doubt it's been a record-breaking season for us, uh, the best yet. And we're obviously bitterly disappointed we didn't make the NCAA tournament. Um, you know, I, I don't understand why we weren't selected and, and hopefully in time the NCAA will, will reach out to us and give us reasons why so that obviously it's something I've done as a coach that I can improve and, and hopefully we can we can learn from them lessons and, and uh, move on because I definitely think this team deserves to be in there uh, this year, you know. Uh, what a lot of people didn't know is when I came here to interview five years ago, I, I explained that it was our goal to be in the NCAA tournament by our fourth year. And I felt we deserved that this year and I felt we had a good shout and unfortunately it just wasn't to be. But I just want to take the time to thank, you know, all the parents especially, you know, uh, the administration, especially athletic director Stan Williamson, you know, and all the administration like your, your guys and, and that, that have done a fabulous job in making sure that we've got a uh, press release and, and our word out there this season, you know. Uh, special congrats to Matthew Thorne and the men's team for winning the programme and winning the the conference championship, you know. Uh, Matthew's a great guy, you know, he's always got time for you to go through and talk tactics and things like that. And, you know, the men's team did a great job last week at our, our game, you know, and it's probably the most fun environment I've been in and atmosphere, you know, and they made that special for us. So I'm, I'm thrilled to bits that they were able to get the championship that day. Uh, Season-wise, you know, as I said, I think we were we only lost one game away from home. Uh, we lost two games at home, and I thought we proved consistent enough to to have a realistic shout to to be in the tournament. You know, uh, obviously, you know, it just wasn't to be. But I don't think that should overshadow what we've achieved this year. You know, I think the girls have been phenomenal from day one. You know, they they put in some exceptional performances. You know, to to beat uh, CBU twice. You know, a team that's going to the tournament. And uh, what we just got to do is try and fight on. You know, one thing I've always been is a determined person and determined to prove people wrong. And you know, I think we need to now use this motivation and, and try and get justice for the, the six girls that are leaving us. You know, and I think in future years, if we can we can fight for their justice and, and hopefully make the NCAA tournament next year, I think that'll be a, a fitting uh, send off for for everybody involved. You've already spoken more in depth about these six girls that are leaving. Tell us a little bit about the girls that are coming back. Uh, tell us a little bit about the, the team and, and what fans can look forward to next season. Yeah, well, it was very hard yesterday. It was very emotional, you know. We were, we were all distraught, you know, when when you work extremely hard like we do from day one, you know. And as I said, it was a five-year plan for myself, but it was also, you know, like four years of these girls that had worked hard, you know, seven of them being there from the start, obviously six of them will leave us this year, you know, but, you know, we ask for exceptional standards from everyone, you know, my coaching staff, as I said, you know, uh, Matthew helps a lot in the goalkeeping side and, and helps a lot with the tactics, but the coach Lowe has been phenomenal and, and helped us out tremendously, you know, and, and having these people here that, that just want to work hard every day and, and get you to the next level is, is what we need at West Island. You know, we will. I don't want to. I didn't want to do it yesterday to overshadow the achievements of, of the seniors and say, you know, we'll get them next year. You know, because I didn't think it was the right time. You know, there's uh, any team would would be uh, upset to lose the characters that we're going to lose and, and the quality players. But as I said, I think what we're going to just do is, is be determined and and fight for their justice because you know, West Alabama needs to be a team that's challenging every year for the NCAA's. You know and. If we keep challenging every year, they can't knock us back every year, that's for sure.